Okay, here we go. So it is Sunday evening, and normally uh, on Sunday evenings I'm taking a bit of time to build new materials for class. I'll also use that time to do some marking. Today, uh, or I guess this evening, what I'm looking at doing is, uh, uh, we last week we looked at how to write summary paragraphs, so I'm going to do a demonstration of a summary paragraph uh, with this video. Now, before I started this summary, I did a close reading of the article that we read last week on the old growth forest and the logging industry. There's actually three articles I've uploaded. Uh, this is from the first one. And basically, I took a few minutes, it took me about 25 to 30 minutes to reread through the article and take some annotated notes uh, using the Cornell note style. So I'm kind of marrying two of our skills together there. I'm using our annotation process, but what I'm actually doing is converting those annotations into Cornell notes. And I will snap a shot of those Cornell notes and also add that to the website so that you can take a look at my process on how I used different colors, how I used the analysis bar. Um, and now that I've finished doing those notes, I have a fairly strong grasp of that article and I'm ready to start my summary. Again, last week we looked at how Sean McLeod proposed summary writing and just a quick review of that. Uh, there should be a clear topic sentence that's going to state either the author, title, or speaker of the original article. Uh, it needs to be clear and state the purpose. Then you're going to move into the supporting sentences which will track the development of ideas in the correct order. It should be clear, you don't want too many details there, and no direct quotes. So we're going to be paraphrasing into our own uh, words. Alrighty, so as I write, I will be thinking and I might be commenting, but you also get a chance to see uh, me developing my sentences. And I can always go back to double check the spelling. Ud Shroon, kind of an interesting name. We like it. And you'll notice I start by putting this uh, a title marker, but that's just to show you that it should be a title there. I can then kind of push that back and remove that. And then I'm also going to grab this and put it up into my Google document title area. Okay, in the CBC article about old growth forests and logging by Ud, Ud Shroon. I guess that's one R too many. So that's my topic sentence in the CBC article about old growth forests and logging by Oud uh, Shroon. The idea that BC needs to review and upgrade the provincial plan for these vital forests is discussed. Discussed.
Now notice that I've tried to incorporate different synonyms. And that can get a bit tricky, so I had to go back from, I, I used view, stance, positions, plan, and then I went back to view. But I might even uh, highlight this to kind of mark that I want to come back. And maybe I'll use a synonym uh, bank, like you can go to a site called dictionary.com and they actually have a, a thesaurus uh, function that's also available. So if I was to go in here and put in the word Yeah, so that's 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 actually nice because I can I can get a few different uh, additional concepts there. So if we look at that carefully, maybe we'll use attitude or viewpoint. Maybe we'll say viewpoint just to get some 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 additional variety. So that's another writing trick is or tool is to um, use some of the resources available to be able to get some synonyms so you have a little bit more variety. So now I've kind of built out the first two sentences are kind of covering the, the biggest and most important ideas that were, that were introduced in this article. Now I need to go through and kind of track things uh, step by step as they were laid out in the article.